Welcome traders. In this video we're going to go over some of the management strategies you can use with NinjaTrader. This week I had a couple people write me that had their NinjaTraders lock up during the trading day and I wanted to put this video in the getting started section so that people understand what's going on below the hood of NinjaTrader and the software that we're using. Okay, the first important thing to understand is that if we're gonna be using the divergence and the ratio indicator, we're gonna to have to engage tick replay here. And by engaging tick replay, we put a bigger strain on our processor. You'll notice here that my trading setup has only two days loaded which I consider just the absolute minimum. And I do this on all my charts where tick replay is used. If I'm going to be studying on a Saturday and Sunday, what I will do is I will change this to 14 days, but always change it back to two before quitting on a Sunday evening. Okay, so here's the indicators on this chart and you see that I put the ratio indicator, the delta strength indicator, I have bloodhound, I have divergence and the KP2 delta and then I also have the zone trader pro V2BH and what that does that is the indicator that actually shows you what kind of pattern we are in. So when all of that stuff is placed on the chart, what's gonna happen is as soon as it's placed on the chart, Ninja is gonna start thinking. Now, when Ninja is thinking, you're gonna see the CPU somewhere between 18 and 20%, and that is normal. If you go to do something and you see Ninja thinking, but the CPU is down to 2% or less, that's Ninja being locked up. So what you're seeing right here, Ninja working at about 18%, that's pretty much normal. And now what's going on behind the scenes is this. We are telling Ninja to go back and use Tick Replay for several indicators and this isn't necessarily a good idea if you're doing this and it's during the trading day when Ninja also has to process incoming data. Now when Ninja is processing it's not just processing the one chart that we see right here it's also processing all of the charts that are associated with Bloodhound and there is between four and five charts of that also. Bloodhound is an indicator that works inside of an indicator. So when Tick Replay is engaged, you're making Bloodhound do all of those same processes that the normal chart is doing also. So it is very common that if you tried to do this during the trading day, that Ninja will lock up for at least 10 minutes, possibly as many as 30, depending on how many days that you have loaded in. Okay, I had to pause the video to wait for the patterns to load took about two or three minutes here because it's a Sunday and you're seeing kind of the reason why we would want to have the patterns on the chart because down here we're picking up tick divergence and that is a very good use of the patterns along with the actual dollar sign tick numbers themselves. What you need to understand is that Ninja is running off of a single thread according to the, one of the engineers that I talked to. So is Bloodhound necessary on every chart is a question that you need to ask yourself. And my experience is that 
the patterns chart, again, the chart that is on Trader V2 and either V2 or V2BH, both of those cause NinjaTrader to slow down if they are put on a tick replay enabled chart. So I'm going to go ahead and remove both of them and show you how you can get around this. After I took the patterns off, it took literally about 30 seconds to load this chart. So that would be about normal, maybe a little more during the trading day. But let's look how we can do this and save our resources so that we don't get NinjaTrader locked up during the trading day. Okay, to demonstrate what I'm gonna do here, I'm loading a 300 tick chart with a lot of days on it, 21 days. Now, once I have it up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my template that I use for the three and a half zigzag chart, ZTP 3.5 zigzag, and that will give me the look of the chart that I want to see. Next, I'm going to come back to the indicators and I'm going to take off what I don't need. I don't need any of the divergence indicators or anything involved with delta strength. I am going to add the Zone Trader Pro V2BH and you can see that I still have the Bloodhound template on the chart. So I'm going to have it load the VIX logic and the select the template Zone Trader Pro VIX 90 V4. So now this chart with about 21 days on it is going to take just about the same time, just about 30 seconds or a minute to load. And basically what I've done is I've made it so that this chart is not having to recalculate all of the things that are causing our tick replay charts to slow down, i.e. the Bloodhound trend indicator and the Zone Trader Pro patterns. So as you can see very quickly, we have our Bloodhound template and we have our patterns all in one chart. Now, if I wanted to do this with the SPY chart, I'd simply come to here and change this to SPY. And I would change the tick setting lower to something like uh, 45. Okay, now once we have the data in here, I like to use a 30 cent zigzag on the SPY. So we would come back to the indicator. We'd come to zigzag ZTP. If we want a 30 cent zigzag, we would put a 0.3 in zigzag ZTP. And that would correlate to 30 zigzag ticks on Zone Trader Pro V2. Then say OK. And the chart is now going to load with our patterns and our bloodhound extremely fast, considering that we have 21 days loaded. And just about a minute later, everything is loaded. Now, I want to bring your attention to something that I discovered uh, last week when trying to do some research on historical data during the trading day. So this applies to if you want to go back and you come to the data series here and you see that our end date here is October 25th, which is the date I'm making the video. Well, let's say that you were wanting to do some research on starting on October 16th. Now, you would so you'd select October 16th and say OK, and then you would have 21 days loaded with the last day from October 16th. Okay, so now we have our chart completely loaded. 
our last day here is October 16th. And if we go back in time, we can see that we have our Bloodhound background loading and working properly. Now, here's what is the issue, and it's neither a bug or anything we can do anything about. The issue is that if this was during the regular trading day, and I have to emphasize during the regular trading day because your kinetic data is limited to only seven days when the market is trading to put less of a strain on the kinetic servers. So if you were to do this on a trading day when the market is open, you are not gonna first get your entire 21 days but what I found out, and I verified this with Bloodhound, is that all of the data that gets crunched to go into making the background here, in, order, in other words, to give you the, the VIX cell signals, all of that data is not coming in because it is past the seven day time period. So, this is going to apply to very few people, but I wanna make everybody aware of it that if you're gonna to try to load anything other than the seven days that is the current week, and you're gonna do it during the trading day, the information that comes up here on the Bloodhound background is just not going to be accurate. So again, this is only gonna apply very infrequently, but I want everybody to know and understand it so that if you were doing research during a trading day, you just can't go back and set it for anything other than the current week that we're in. I wanna thank you for watching this uh, short video. And again, if you should ever have any questions, please give me a call. Take care. Stay safe.